Okay, so going by the rules as agreed, we are now going to plot a categorical variable and the right plotting choice for that is a bar plot. So let's just start creating a bar plot. And what are the categorical variables that we have in our data? Maybe I don't really recollect all the names and it might happen while you're working on a big data set. You can simply go ahead and type names and the name of the data set. It will pull out all the names of your variables. Now it is easy for me to figure out the gender, occupation, age bucket, and uh, approval were the four factor variables that we had. So let's say we want to plot occupation. Okay, this has multiple categories. So I will type ggplot and in ggplot, I have to first give the reference of the data, which is retail. I have to mention the aesthetics. So in this case, the aesthetic that I'm going to plot is occupation and the shape that I'm choosing or the geometry that I'm choosing to display this aesthetic is a bar. So if I do a control enter, what is it that I get? I get a bar plot like this. Now this is not a very useful information in this case because even if I would have checked the summary, let's say of this variable alone, one variable at a time, if I would have just checked the summary of this variable called occupation, I would have got the counts, right? So it's essentially displaying the same information here like this, right, in the form of a bar height. So if you want to do a bit of customization here as well, we can apply different colors to different bars. So let's say I want to put fill is equal to and because we may have multiple choices here, we have three different bars. I don't want to color them all the same. I will do red, green, and let's say it might not look really nice aesthetically, but uh, I'm just giving it a try. And let's say when I hit enter, this is how the output comes. It's too bright. Let's say we are not very happy with the colors that we got here because they seem too bright. We can let R decide the colors based on the levels given in the factor or the categorical variable. So let's say we do this and I hit enter, I will get this output. Seems a little sober compared to what we got last, right? So this way you can customize different color options here. In the next video, we'll be talking about the bivariate plotting options, that is plotting two variables at a time.